We're standing in front of this field of Israeli flags. Uh, there are flags from other countries too, and you happen to stop by. Uh, what caught your attention about it? Yeah, all this uh, flag that they from Israel, and I saw in the middle some of the from United States, from other countries. That's caught my attention over here, and I decided to investigate what happened. You know, curious people. Um, then I saw the side that say over there that um, uh, in the attack that happened in 2002, uh, exact 23 October, there was um, uh, 30 nations that were affected with the citizens. You know, 1,400 flags over here, and there was. Uh, uh, people from 30 nations die in that attack that happened here. Uh, who, who attacked who? Uh, this group of Hamas designed to attack innocent people that were standing over there. Without any warning, they went over there and, and took hostages, uh, children, um, innocent people that they just were over there, like those people that they died from different countries. Uh, did they, did they massacre people? At the tourists, you know, they went and took the people like in uh, several years ago that we have uh, this kind of people that went to different towns and they just um, adopted the people and massacred them, you know, in front of the other people without care. And, uh, and I say, you know, this is out of the time now. Uh, we live in the, uh, we understand so much about the society now and how the evolution uh, take place. Also, we saw the fall of the Soviet Union when this um, idea of the left was prevailing at the time. And at the time, they convinced so many people. But when this Soviet Union fall down, it proved that the system didn't work. I don't understand why the people continue with this uh, idea of the left or the right. It's been proven in several countries that these people who call them from the right, uh, from the left, they are the same as the right. They are still and corrupt the, the societies. They are still in the same way that the right still. So um, since I come from a country, you know, this was um, suffered this kind of situation too. I am very, uh, su um, very uh, compelled to try to understand this situation more because we suffer um, a war for 30 years or more, you know, with the people over there. Um, fighting and fighting. Um, at the end, the left and the right got together and they stole the people and they uh, stole the people. They All the money that they have, they, in this little country, they stole $37 billion, you know, $37 billion from the people over there. That they from, took, from which country? Uh, from El Salvador. Um, they took that money away from the, the necessity of the people. So we wake up, you know, with people woke up over there and decide not to support any kind of people. So that's why I come over here and I say Israelis suffer the same thing that we suffer over there, that, um, that these people pretend to come back to the past. They don't understand uh, the feeling of the people. The new generation doesn't want any work. They just want to... Uh, work in peace and trying to progress, you know, buy houses, trying to understand the natural way, trying to uh, succeed in life, trying to grow the families. Um, so it's uh, cut my attention this, the, this uh, people from Israel have been fighting for so, so long uh -huh. and suffer this kind of uh, damage in their society. Uh -huh. I, I don't think that it's justifiable, yes, to fight for them. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh -huh. uh, during World War II, the Nazi Party took over Germany. They were uh, national socialists. They took over Germany on the idea of uh, anti-Semitism, that they were going to cleanse uh, uh, Germany and uh, other Aryan peoples uh, of Jewish people. And the Jews had to escape uh, as refugees. And most countries turned them away. How about El Salvador? Um, I remember that we have experience with us. Uh, use, uh, there was an ambassador from El Salvador who gave the city Sanchez uh, to about 250,000 Jews. You know, they were fighting. I mean, they were trying to get away from there. And our consul at the time uh, saved about 58,000 people from Israel. Um, that they, they, you know, they gave it the uh, uh, the right to uh, appeal for. Uh, 
uh, refuge. So we had kind of this, this thing, you know, the, the, we've been suffering almost the same thing. And as a matter of fact, Israel is almost have the same dimensions as El Salvador. You know, in El Salvador, we have uh, 128,124 square miles. Israel have, have uh, 8,522 square miles. Uh -huh. But with the difference that in El Salvador, we don't have a desert. But Israel have a 60% desert, you know, 60% uh -huh. desert. And we have, still have some problems in El Salvador because these people from the past left us with, you know, stole everything. And we still some towns that they don't have a little town that they don't have water. And Israel now have the same dimensions, uh, have a 20% surplus water. That sell, you know. Surplus? Surplus. They sell to Egypt, just some other countries around. So they produce so much water. Uh, they have a, actually, they, when I went over there, they have a 30 desalination plants. They don't have any problem with the water, you know. The ecology, uh, they have one lake over there because they, they haven't damaged the, the lake because they supply the fresh water from the ocean to the lake. So the people can fish and they can do, you know, using the lake and they don't destroy the lake. They have, a, and also, great admiration for these people that we should have in the planet too. Even when it's 60% desert, they're able to produce, uh, export so many different agriculture uh, uh, good, you know, for vegetable? the vegetable and all kinds of fruit from Flowers? to the whole planet. And they produce not only in the Salvador, we produce only um, one, you know, a, a year. The, the, we call the cosecha, we call that is the harbor, you know, once a year because of the summer that we have and the uh -huh. And the, uh, and the winter. But the thing is that uh, Israel produce all year round, four seasons, uh, everything. They produce because of, they have the water, the fresh water, uh -huh. the most innovating things uh -huh. that they have in the desalination. The, the uh -huh. plant, so they have a product and they can export in the markets over here. Very uh, uh, yeah. succulent products and really good, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they sell, so the agriculture is very good over there. Uh -huh. And also, they sell those machines, you know, that they give the special uh, the irrigation. It's a state of the art. Most of the people, they want to have that kind. Uh -huh. The desalination plant, they have the most um, sophisticated desalination plants that they have over there. Uh -huh. And they sell this to all over the world. Uh -huh. Have you been there yourself? Yeah. That's what I, I think that is a um, beautiful country, a small and with very powerful people. I mean, powerful people in my, you know, because they can produce, they can innovate. Uh -huh. It's so great appreciation for those people that, uh, that I have because the innovation that they do and... Admiration? Yeah, definitely. I have a great admiration for the people of Israel with this great amount. Well, Albert Einstein was a Jewish, you know, Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one of them. Uh, um, now what I worry about uh, this war that we have that can escalate, you know, Israel have the capability to destroy all any country that attack them or the other country can do, you know, too. Just ignoring the, no, the news that these people do. Um, just pay attention to the other media that we have now, different ways to have the uh, news in and different way to communicate with the people. So we don't have to depend just in the regular media that we have because uh, they don't say the truth. They follow an agenda that is but according to the interests of some kind of people, not all the people. So we in America, we have the idea that we the people have to decide what is, and we have to enforce that idea because it's so powerful. And eventually it's gonna prevail. The things you know, we people, the planet, when it raise the conscience to the level that we neutralize everything that is uh, not true and accept what is real.